are going to talk about the ability to create commands and, as I use the word, evaluate them uh, using the evaluate command. Oh, I'm going to throw in a little other, other one here. I talk about it. I've used it. But it's a nice way of showing things. It's the make results. This, you can have zero data in your index or whatever, and you can use a make results command, and it will allow you to put data into Splunk to, to manipulate. So the simple comment. Uh, syntax is pipe make results and then we're going to put our own fields in here so I'm going to do a um, field one equals foo eval some other field you can name whatever you want equals bar and we're going to do one more eval um, equals Actually, we'll just do something like this, Susan Sparkles. If I hit that, I'll get back a I'll get back at results with a field with a name here. This, this doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we've got one. We, it takes the time when this thing was run. Here's your field one. It's equal to foo, foo some other field bar. We can then later, we can actually overwrite stuff. We can do eval some other field equals um, French toast. If I do this, some other field, which was bar, will now disappear. And I want to show the way this actually works. If I were to table, and we go foo bar, oops, we go field one, some other field, and Susan. If I first run this, it writes to the screen those fields. I want you to pay attention that as I do an eval some other field, the eval then takes priority and puts itself right into this table. So we don't even ever display this bar here, it just takes over. So even though the table is written here and it's later in the pipe, it will affect what's being written to the screen. So that's something important to understand. Um, other things you can do with eval, um, you can do, we'll go back to grabbing the actual data. So if I go lay, uh, index equals lame training source type equals lame con, then we're going to do a very simple equal statement here. And what we want to do is conditionals, conditions. And so you can do an if or a, a case. I'm going to do a case eval, and I'm going to write this as uh, eval, my eval field. I can name it anything I want. And the syntax is case condition result, next condition, result, on and on. And I'll show you how to, and then you got your concluding stuff. But that's the basic principle. You, can, you only need one condition and one result. I'm going to do source IP equals 10 dot, 10 dot 1.1.1. If it is, I'm going to write equals, and then I'm going to go source IP. And so the simple way to do this is I'm going to take a, I'm going to say is good IP source IP equal 10.1.1.1.2. Not good IP. I don't know why 10.1.1.2 is not a good IP, but we're going to say that. And then any time you want a, a an all-inclusive statement, and you would think Splunk would have a, K, a case or a, I mean an else or something like that. They don't. But the easiest way to do that is you just end your statement with something that always evaluates true. One always equals one. So if you do that, then you can write did not match. And so now this basically acts as a 
an else statement at the very end. And so we're going to go write table, and I'm going to write source IP, and then we're going to write my eval field. And we can see did not match, did not match. Well, none of them did match. So let's go and grab one, switch this to 10, 0, 0, 1. We know that'll match. And we're going to make this 10, 0, 0, 4. If I run that, we got 10.1 is coming back as good IP, did not match, not good IP. And so it'll actually go through every field and evaluate it for you. And so that's another method that you can use the uh, eval. And it's one of the most common uses that I have when I do assess uh, about what I'm doing hunting and stuff is I'll use cases. And that's that's the basic principle behind an email function. I hope you find this helpful. If you did, please like the channel, please subscribe, and I hope this helps you on your trip from being a lame analyst to a Splunk Ninja.